Have you ever wondered why so many people are struggling to get a job in development? Well, I thought about it because I also had a hard time in 2016, 2017 when I was learning this stuff, trying to break in. And I came up with a few reasons why beginners, and, and no matter if they are self-taught, bootcamp grads or uh, recent uh, graduate from university that just got a degree, I'm, I'm going to show you why they are struggling to get a job in tech. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, before I tell you why they are struggling and what you have to fix, I want to talk to you about like what is actually the overall goal of a software developer. So a software developer simply takes the requirements from a company and then translates those requirements into features and builds a product, a software application. As simple as that, it doesn't matter if we are talking about front-end, it doesn't matter if you are talking about back-end. In a nutshell, being a developer means taking requirements, solving problems using code to achieve said requirement. Now, here is where people are struggling with when it comes to learning code and actually landing that first developer job. As a software developer, all you do is you solve a problem and you write the code, okay? Simple. As a beginner, all you have to do is to learn code build something to show that you've learned the specific skill and then interview and then get a job, right? Those would be the three points that you need to do. Learn, show, interview. The problem is that a self-taught developer, it doesn't matter if it's a bootcamp grad or a recent graduate from university, has to wear way too many different hats, okay? So what do I mean by that? A regular developer takes the requirements from someone. It's not like every day you wake up as a software developer and you're gonna come up with ideas to build. No, someone tells you what to build and you build them, right? But the idea is that someone tells you what to build. As a person who is learning code, you do not have that, that luxury. So the problem that you have is that besides the fact that you have to navigate through the unlimited amount of resources, you have to find for yourself the thing to build that is correct for your level. Another thing that we need to discuss is, okay, as a software developer, you are receiving requirements and you have to build them and then someone is gonna manage you, right? And make sure that you are gonna do it in time. You do not have that as a self-taught developer. Another thing as a self-taught developer that you don't have is code review. So as a developer, you will very likely work in a team. So a team will have multiple developers. Once you finish solving the problem, you're gonna send it to someone to check the code for you, right? So you're gonna get this peer review and you'll also have to do it for someone else as a developer. But a self to developer that has no other developer to interact with, you are left at your own devices. So you might be developing bad habits. You might be developing a lot of skills that you are actually not in need of, right? You might be learning 3JS, for example, which is an animation library. Like it's cute to have it, but it's not essential. Another thing that a developer has, but you don't, and you have to wear that hat is the designer hat. As a developer, a front-end developer, you do not come up with designs, very unlikely. A designer will design the thing for you, Someone is going to tell the designer what to design. The designer is going to design it however the designer wants. And then you'll receive the design and you have to implement the design. As a self-taught developer, as you saw in my portfolio reviews, you guys don't have that skill, but you have to learn it because you need to make your applications presentable. It can be amazing, but if it looks nasty, nobody's gonna even take you in consideration because the recruiter is gonna see a bad looking application. He's gonna instantly assume you're a bad front-end developer and it's not gonna consider you a potential candidate and it's not gonna put you in front of a developer that can actually see that you are actually a good developer. So you are being judged based on your worst skill, which is design. So these are the problems that you will be facing as a front-end developer and now you can tackle them individually. You don't have an app idea. So what you can do is you can find an app that you're using every day. So I'm not talking about the social media app, but an app that maybe helps you at work. If you're an accountant, maybe there is some software that you have at work. So make it your aim to figure out how you could improve that app. It could be even just from the aesthetics perspective, or maybe you want to remove stuff from that app. Maybe you want to make something a bit more 
fluent, a bit easier to navigate. I'm sure there are a bunch of applications that look absolutely terrible. So take a Google Doc and start writing down what would you improve, okay? That should be your aim. If you like accounting and if you're interested in that, you can solve a problem there. Now, your entire coding journey should be aimed towards learning the skills to be able to build that application. The skills that you need to learn are pretty much the same. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Next, some backend. But once you get to a decent level with those skills, then you can put all your time and effort into building that application that I was talking about. In terms of getting code review, that's gonna be a bit more difficult, but you can reach out to people on LinkedIn, and ask them to review your code and give you feedback on your code, ideally on a daily basis. The more code review you get, the better you'll get. Now, in terms of design, what you can do instead of learning design and becoming good at that because it's gonna be a waste of time, you could learn some basics of UI, UX design. It's gonna be fairly, very easy to find a YouTube tutorial, like 10, 15, 20 minutes, that's gonna teach you like typography and I think black space or white space, I don't remember exactly the name, it's like, it's gonna give you some ideas about what does it take to make a good looking application, right? Very simple, you can nail it down in like one day, then you can create some sort of wireframes on how you want your application to look like once you get there and you can start building that out. And then in terms of like managing yourself, well, you have to give yourself some time until you figure out what are you actually capable of? So that's gonna take maybe six to nine months to realize and learn what are you actually made of, okay? Because a lot of people come into this thinking that they are heroes and they can do like 40 hours a week from the get-go, which is impossible in my opinion. That's why the bootcamp model is broken. How you work as a person? How long does it take you to learn something new, okay? How do you deal with negative thoughts and emotions as you're going through this process. So then at some point you'll be able to know exactly like, okay, if I wanna do this, it's gonna take me this amount of time. And then you can start to estimate how long it's gonna take for every single thing to be done. I would say working in a team is more than crucial, okay? Because it's very likely that you will be working in a team, okay, as a developer. So the faster you get to work with people, the faster you realize how to actually use your tools and whatnot. And again, this is gonna take some time. This transition period is gonna take some time, maybe one or two months if you decide to work with some people. Then that team management is gonna come into play, right? Learning how to deal with them, how to tell them off, how to make them be accountable to their world, how to make yourself be accountable to your world because you said you're gonna do this in X amount of time, but now you're slacking off. You cannot, uh, you know, wake up one day into a six figures career you have to be smart about it, intentional about it. You have to be disciplined, especially in the beginning until you get that, you know, addiction to coding and whatnot. But once you get it on lock, it's just a matter of time until you get hired. So if you want help with this stuff and other things that you might not even be aware of, you should apply for my coaching program, okay? That's the first thing in the description. This is for someone that is like really serious about getting a job in tech and someone that wants to work remotely. And this is for someone that is a self-starter, a motivated person, person that is disciplined and willing to do the work, okay? This is not for you if you are someone that likes to waste time, okay, pretty much. And if you wanna check the program before you join, that's the second link in the description. You can see all our live calls. So you can see what we discuss in the live calls, how I help people, how they are crushing it. You can see a couple of free courses that I have in there that will teach you how to build websites in like literally a week or two. And you can also see the community and see how people are engaging and you can be a part of that as well, okay? So if you wanna be a part of that coaching program and part of our community, that's the first link. If you just wanna check it out, that's the second link. All right, I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.